Hey everyone, how are you doing? You know, as a business owner, you know what a pain it can be to try to schedule a meeting, especially a series of meetings, or even worse, a bunch of meetings with a bunch of people, okay? One meeting, a lot of people, tennis, back and forth, back and forth, and then it's like, do I schedule a Zoom meeting, conference call meeting, a phone meeting? Look, <laughs> I'm glad you tuned in because I believe I have found one of the best scheduling platforms out there. I'm about to review it now. And guess what? Her name is Amy. Stay tuned. Thank you everybody for tuning into my channel while I review some well-known software as well as some not so well-known software to help you become better at business and to run your life more efficiently. If you really like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please leave your comments. If there's some type of software that you'd like me to review, I'll be more than happy to do so. Okay, so let's get right into it. Amy, <laughs> who is Amy? So actually Amy, is a software called x.ai it is artificial intelligence assistant so how do you like that an ai system that helps you schedule your meetings so there are three things that i really like about this first of all the ease of use it is super easy to use to scheduling secondly is the flexibility so you have the ability to schedule so many types of meetings just by using a simple piece of code and we'll get into that the third thing that I really like about this software, well, actually it's kind of three and number four, it's ridiculously inexpensive. Okay, inexpensive, not cheap, inexpensive. So <laughs> just the amount of time that it would save you would make up for more than your monthly investment for this software. Also, the integrations are crazy. Now, I use G Suite and it integrates perfectly with my Gmail, okay, with my email address. And I'm going to actually demonstrate to you just how smooth this is. Okay, so let's get right to it. We're going to go to the computer. Okay, so we are back at the computer. What you're looking at is the initial screen that you will see when you go to the website x.ai. AI scheduling. Let's get right into it. Take a look at my account. First page you're going to see is basically your dashboard showing your upcoming meetings, as well as all of your calendar pages and all of the extension. You have Zapier, which uh, allows totally unrelated software to speak to one another. You can automate a lot of tasks with Zapier. And of course, there is iPhone for all of you iPhone lovers out there. I, I'm an Android guy, but hey, iPhone is cool. But what you're looking at right here are all the different types of calendar pages that I have. So what I've done is I've been able to set up a separate calendar page based on the type of meeting that I want to schedule. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a lot. You know, I don't want to have a separate type of calendar page for every type of meeting, but that is basically for the AI. And I'll show you why. This serves a purpose and scheduling is ridiculously easy. So let's get right into it. Work with X.AI, I have my connected calendars. What I've been able to do is connect not just my calendar, but my family calendar. Uh, I can connect my team's calendar. Depending on however many calendars you have, you can connect it to x.ai. What you get is a glimpse, a snapshot of your available time slot. So if, if it's dark, that means um, I am not available or it's an all-day event. If it's gray, I am not available because it's outside of my scheduling hours. Now, this is what is really cool. You'll notice, well, wait. The signature is not my signature, it's someone else's name. But I have them down as my executive assistant for the V2M2 group. That is the beauty of this AI, because all the scheduling is done on behalf of an AI named assistant, <laughs> Amy or Andrew, okay? So it's Amy Ingram, and I've gone one step further, which the software allows you to do, and that is to actually give Amy her own email address. So if you're not going to use that feature, you would simply have Amy um, at x.ai. But I wanted it to appear as if it was coming from my domain. So she has her own email address of amy at viralvisualmarketing.com. And it's been kind of funny because at times people will respond to her thinking, hey, Amy, you know what? I really can't meet that day. Can we change it? 
But guess what? Amy copies me on that so I can go in there and make any adjustments. Okay, but for the most part, Amy will do all of the communication for you the minute you tell her that you need to schedule a meeting. We'll get into that. So I've even gone <laughs> even one step further. Amy has her own picture. So I found a stock photo that I could use, and she has her own face. So when she shows up on email, it actually looks like I have an executive assistant. Time zone, holidays, daily meet, prep. So this is when I will get an email or a notification on Hey, you know what, Frank? These are the meetings that you have coming up today, which is really nice because it pops up into my email just about every single day. Notifications, here's Zapier integration, and of course, iPhone, Slack, and Chrome extensions or apps. All right, so I'm going to show you how X.AI will actually integrate with G Suite. I use G Suite. So you can see up here in my browser, here is the X.AI Chrome extension. We won't get so much into that, but just know that this is really connected to every piece of software that you use. Okay, so let's go back up here. Uh, let's look at my scheduling preferences, and here we go. So dynamic smart titles. So our dynamic smart titles detect participants, companies, meeting template title, and the type of meeting you are requesting and generates a title. Wow. How easy is that? And I'm actually going to walk you through an example of how I schedule a meeting as if I'm asking my assistant, Amy, to schedule a meeting on the books for me. Okay, here's my scheduling hours, my meeting duration. Now, this is all default. All right, I have a, if you're running late, just text me. You can see my calendar here again, and then here's all of my locations. So if I'm telling Amy, hey, schedule a lunch meeting with me with so-and-so, it would automatically pick Panera Bread if I say, uh, schedule a coffee meeting with so-and-so, Amy will schedule the meeting to happen at Sparrow Coffee in Naperville. That's going to be changed because I have a new coffee place that's opening up. Or if I want to schedule a meeting at my office, I can have that, but my team is virtual, so I don't need that. All right, follow-ups, dynamic. She'll send a certain number of follow-ups to your guests to confirm a time, and I'll leave a certain number of days between follow-ups to your guests. So you never have to worry about really ticking them off by having Hey, you know, schedule a meeting, schedule a meeting, schedule a meeting every two hours. It is just AI. It's smart. It doesn't do it to the point where your people say, you know what, I don't even want to meet with you. Okay, so here's the calendar homepage. This is my basic calendar homepage. If I open that up, I would go to another location where people can schedule a meeting with me and they can choose which type of meeting they would like to have. But that's not really where x.ai or i like to call it different type of meeting templates based on what type of meetings i would like to have i have a 30 minute phone call have a video call coffee meeting conference call and team meeting and as you can see they are just to have a suffix of forward slash phone z coffee c or b2 m2 after my main calendar homepage. so forward slash z if i want to schedule a zoom meeting each one of these can be personalized how often do you want to be available for a phone call? How often do you want to have a Zoom meeting? Now, I know a lot of us are getting Zoom fatigue, so and 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 it almost seems like you're busier now than you ever were uh, before with this pandemic. So what I've done is I've scheduled my Zoom meetings to actually be very limited. Well, limited for me, no meetings on Monday, limited meetings on Tuesdays between 1 and 5, nothing in the morning or all the way up till after lunch, Wednesdays, all day, Thursdays, all day, and then Fridays only till 3 p.m. I don't want to have any face-to-face -face after 3 p.m. on Friday. So if anybody's trying to schedule a Zoom meeting with me or I'm trying to schedule one with them, it is only going to be set during those times. But look, this is where Amy gets better because people are not allowed to schedule something within two hours. So like right now, it is 17.56 or 5.56 p.m. for the civilian types. Uh, I am not going to allow anybody to schedule within two hours from now. So that gives me some breathing time. I'm going to have breather time between meetings of 30 minutes. And when I do schedule a Zoom meeting, I only like her to show four available slots per day. Because in the past, I've had people schedule meetings. And guess what? My entire day is filled up. I get a 30-minute uh, breather. Uh, and after that, everything is filled up way too busy you can't get any work done so i can limit the number of available slots that i want to show per day if i really want to get restrictive i'll put it down to three right now it's at four that's pretty cool but you can do this with every single type of 
meeting template. You can see here if I have a coffee meeting it's for 75 minutes and it's going to be held at Sparrow Coffee. Okay. Now, the other beautiful thing about this is you can invite your team in. So you can have a team calendar homepage right there. There's the V2M2 team. So if we need to schedule a team meeting, it will go onto this calendar. Also, it takes all of our different calendars, meshes them together, see what the available time is, and will suggest the best times for us to meet. So that is a beautiful thing. I can have team meeting uh, templates and here in person locations. So this is where I set all of my locations as many as I want. Now I can add another location. I don't need any more than that. That is cool. I think that's good. Now, hey, you want me to meet your location? You're in my area. Shoot me your location and maybe I'll just put it in my locations and we can help out your establishment. Okay. So Here's my phone and video details for setting up the Zoom and the web conferencing right here. Now, as you can see right here, this does integrate with Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. So you're really not going to be left out. And if you are not using any one of those, you have WebEx, Join Me, GoToMeeting, and Skype. So this is crazy efficient. I mean, this is, there's nothing missing. And the beautiful thing is, this is actually integrating with my G Suite. And um, Google Meet and my Microsoft Teams, I use uh, G Suite most of the time. So I'm going to show you how that works because it also is integrated directly with my scheduling on my calendar. All right. So let's get into how do you schedule a meeting with using Amy, not with Amy, using Amy. Okay. So here is my email. I'm going to just invite myself uh, to a meeting. Uh, there it is. Okay. I'm going to see. Uh, here's a test. Now, let's just say you've been talking with someone back and forth. I've been talking with me. Hey, Frank, let's set up a time. Yeah, no problem, man. When do you want to meet? You know what? I'm going to have my assistant, Amy, reach out to you. Oh, man, that's really cool. You got an assistant. You better believe I got an assistant. What are you thinking? I'm small time? No, Frank, I never knew that you were small time. Never thought that. Good, because I'm not. All right. So, there. Had great quick dialogue. I'm going to shoot him an email. I'm going to say, hey, Frank. Oh, looking forward to meeting with you. I will have my assistant, Amy, schedule a meeting with you next week. Thanks. Now, schedule a meeting. Now, remember my meeting templates? I could put a forward slash here, and she's just going to schedule a general meeting, not really knowing what type is going to be. She will email me back and say, hey, Frank, what type of meeting do you want this to be? But I like to be a little bit more specific. I could go a Zoom meeting, okay, and put a forward slash in front of the Zoom, and boom, she will set up a Zoom meeting. But you know what? That looks kind of strange. Looks like, you know, I, I, I fail my grammar class. Uh, my writing class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go somewhere, anywhere in this email, and I'm going to put in forward slash z dot z and backslash. Boom. There you go. Now what the AI does, oh, one more step. I have to CC Amy. So I'll go Amy. All right. There's her picture. Looks really cool, really hip. All right. So I CC'd her on my email. What Amy will do is she will look through my email. Oh, my way forgot something next week and call it no and title it Frank meets Frank all right there we go it's gonna go through my email and it's gonna say wait a minute oh Z Z that is a zoom meeting I'm gonna schedule a zoom meeting for Frank and the recipient of this email doesn't even see this it is invisible to them it is invisible to them so Amy already knows that she's going to schedule a meeting for me next week. That's all I have to say. I can be specific next Wednesday, next Tuesday, next Thursday. She's going to give it a title of Frank Meets Frank, and it's going to be a Zoom meeting. How cool is that? That is all I have to do. All. It's that easy. Really. So you can have a bunch of, if I wanted this to be a phone meeting, I could put P, uh, P right, right there. And Amy's going to know that it's going to be a phone meeting. Okay? So that's the beautiful thing of when you set up 
your meeting templates, you don't have to have coffee, C, whatever. You can just put the first letter, okay? And Amy or the AI will pick that up and schedule that type of meeting with you. So there you have it. I've, I've, I've looked at how Amy integrates with a lot of other software. I've looked at how easy it is to schedule with Amy, and it looks as if, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and send this email so you can see what happens when Amy gets the email, how she gets back to me. Okay, you can see that it integrates a lot of your existing softwares that you're using, a lot of your meeting uh, audio or video conferencing type of software that you're that you're using, uh, that you can have several different types of meetings, and it really does appear as if you have a personal assistant. The beautiful thing is, I can't quite remember what the cost is, but it is ridiculously inexpensive, inexpensive to uh, to use Amy. Oh, one more thing, my network. So here you go. Everybody that's connected with me through Amy, I can add them as a VIP. And what will happen is now we can both do scheduling together through Amy because it'll speak to all of our, our calendars and really uh, take a lot of time out of the, the back and forth, the tennis pr process and finding, finding a uh, suitable time for everyone to meet. Okay, so that's it. Hey, look, I'm so happy that you tuned in. I would like to know what is your favorite scheduling software. Let me know. Let's see if, uh, by the way, let's see if uh, Amy got back to me. Let me uh, refresh my email. Uh, nope, she has not gotten back to me yet. But anyway, give it a shot, okay? They have several plans of Amy. I'm on the paid plan because I she has her own email address. And I have that picture and everything, but it is so ridiculously inexpensive. The time that I have saved has been amazing. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about Amy. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, below so you can try try it out because I don't know if you want Amy or Andrew, but you can try out x.ai. And I would love to see how it's working for you. And if you like this presentation, please subscribe so you're not left out on any future product or software reviews. That I give. All right. And as always, peace. God bless.